y'all my name is Cabria and this is the life of Cabri if you are new here welcome and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much and welcome back first of all before we even get into today's video I just want to say thank you so so much for everyone that showed love on that last video I did not expect it to do what it's doing but I'm so grateful for everyone who's tuned in everyone that's interacted with me and everyone that subscribed y'all we finally finally made it to not 100 subscribers but more than 100 subscribers and i am so so grateful and i'm so happy thank y'all so much for supporting me and following me along on this journey it literally means so much to me with that being said i am having a giveaway since we did reach that milestone honestly it came quicker than i thought it literally came quicker than i thought so if I don't announce the details in this video, I will definitely announce the details in the next video. And I'm so excited for this giveaway. Of course, I will be giving away products from Capri Beauty, but I definitely want it to be bigger than that. So once I figure out the logistics and figure out what I want to include, like what else I want to include in the giveaway, I'll drop all the details. And I encourage you all to enter in the giveaway because it's going to be something good. It's just going to be good. So in today's video, I'm actually getting ready to go out and I didn't want to do nothing like too crazy with my face, just like a little clean look. So that's exactly what I'm going for today. And I'm going to do something different. This is like a little chit chat, get ready with me. I've never done one of these before. All my videos have been voiceover, so bear with me. <laughs> but yeah, so let's get right into this video. Okay, so I already went ahead and um, moisturized my skin. I didn't use my primer yet. I usually like to do that after I do my brows, so yeah. And I'm just looking down into this compact mirror as I do that. But y'all, this week has literally been so crazy, but crazy in like an amazing way. Like when I tell y'all, I did not expect. Okay, so first of all, I like to post my videos like every um, Sunday. I think I said that in my last video. So last Sunday, I honestly did not know what, oh, I'm going in. <laughs> Y'all, this is hard already. I'm just going in with my eyebrow pencil and I'm just gonna like not really fill in my brows, but just do a little, little something to them. My eyebrows are naturally thin, so just wanna. I don't know, not really fill them in, but just give them a little definition. <laughs> but basically what I was saying was last week, I honestly had no idea what I was about to be filming for y'all at all. Like, I had no idea and I was trying to think like, what kind of video am I, about to do, am I about to do? And I remember my grandmother, she told me, she was like, you need to do a curly hair video or you need to do a hair video. And I been contemplating on doing that because I'm not like a I feel like I'm still learning how to do my hair like I just hold on my camera's dying I need to get a new battery give me one second okay we're back with a um fully charged battery so like I was saying um I feel like I've always been natural but I really feel like I started my natural hair journey for real for real during quarantine and it was kind of inspired by like my best friends because they both big chop and you know on to their healthy hair journey and i've never had like a perm or anything like that but my hair was severely heat damaged especially the front because i used to get sew-ins all the time like i was definitely a sew-in girl definitely a silk press girl definitely the girl that will straighten her leave out every morning if I see a little bit of a curl in there. Like, that was me. So, yeah, I don't think they even know that they inspired me for that whole journey. But, yeah, shout out to y'all. But, um, so, yeah, I feel like I've really just been doing, like, I've been figuring out what works for me and just doing what works for me. And I feel like since I've been doing that, like, my hair has been flourishing, you know? Um... It's definitely trial and error though, so yeah. I'm basically saying that to say like, I'm not like a natural hair guru. I don't know, I don't know. I guess I don't know like the, I wouldn't consider myself like a natural hair, um, you know, 
guru like the girls that I see on YouTube the ones I looked up to I just kind of do what works for me and yeah so I kind of just put that video out on a whim like you know let me just do it and that's the great thing about like kind of starting off on YouTube it's just like it's literally seeing what works for you or like seeing what your audience wants to see like you know kind of experimenting with like different kinds of content like this is experiment right here because I've never done a video of me like talking to y'all while doing my makeup and I feel like it's taking me longer <laughs> than I would hope but it's okay we're here together but I'm going back and forth like just kind of um Softly adding some strokes to my brows. Like I said, this look is about to be super natural, so not really doing too much to the brows. You okay? That was ace. So yeah, so like I was saying, when I put that video out, I was just like, okay, it's just another video. Like I'm gonna like, you know, it's just a part of my routine. I'm being consistent. I'm putting out content. And I put that video out on Sunday. On Monday, I had about maybe like 30 to 50 views. But I know that night, or that afternoon rather, I had like 56 views that Monday. Cool. And that's pretty typical for me. Like, you know, I expected that. So, I don't know. I usually check like the stats of my YouTube videos um kind of like the next day and like throughout the course of the day or whatever just to see like if it's just to see what, if it's got getting any traction see if people are watching it see if i've gained any new subscribers from the video like it was normal for me so um but surprisingly so i feel like with this chit chat y'all are like going to see all the bloopers and everything like that but i'm going in with my morphe palette one of my um one of the shadows just like broke so we're gonna be extremely careful with that and i'm just gonna go in with like a neutral brown shade just to um just a little bit just a little bit of eyeshadow nothing too crazy nothing too crazy so Back to my story. Oh my gosh, like I feel like it's so hard to multitask. It really is, y'all. But I, um, and I'm just gonna put that all over my lid, actually. Probably using the wrong brush for this, but it's okay. Make it work. Okay, so, but the ironic thing about that day is that I remember only checking my, um, the stats to that video. I remember only checking the stats to that video like one time and that was the afternoon when I had about 56 views. So um, it was nighttime and something told me like just go on YouTube, like just go on YouTube. And I went on YouTube y'all and I had like, I had maybe three more subscribers than I had and I had 156 views and that is huge, that was huge for me because I usually get to the 100 mark after like a week. So to get that after, you know, a day of me posting that, I was excited. Like I was like, oh, okay, we can we can actually get to 100 subscribers soon. Like, okay, this is this is exciting. So I was super happy about that. And then um, that morning, I just woke up to more subscribers and more views on the video. And like every time I went to go check, and I know I probably shouldn't have like checked as frequently as I did, but I was just excited. I just wanted to see what was going on. Um, but the more I checked, every time I checked, it would be like more people watching it, and I would get like a couple more subscribers here and there. And I remember when I got up to 90 subscribers, it was like, oh, okay, we about to get 100 subscribers. Like, let's let's get it so yeah so once i did reach 100 it was just like oh my gosh like you know it's happening and like these are things that like i've been like journaling about and like manifesting and it's up it's up so yeah and if you know, you know, like, I've always, always wanted to start a YouTube video. I mean, a YouTube channel. So, this is just super exciting for me. 
and I'm excited to like interact with y'all and everything, the whole nine for real. So yeah. So yeah, that was kind of like this week for me. Um, I'm also going on vacation soon for my birthday. So also looking forward to that. So after I pop some eyeshadow, I'm just gonna go in with my Cabri Beauty Mascara, you already know. This is from my um, first collection. Right now, actually, my um, my website is actually closed. That's something else I did this week. I'm going through my whole like relaunch and like rebranding, and I just want a clean slate, you know? I just, I just want a clean slate. Like, I want to kinda take that time to relaunch and like rebrand and actually, I don't know, I just, I don't know, I just feel like I needed to close my website so I could like work behind the scenes and like really do what I need to do. So my website is actually closed right now, but if you do like want to re-up on your Capri Beauty products, like please feel free to shoot me a DM or you could just shoot me an email and I can get that right to you. But for now, I'm just not gonna be taking orders online just so like I can really just focus on this new website and I'm excited because I've ever since I created the website I've never kind of um, really tweaked it for real for real like I made like little tiny edits but actually redoing it no I've never done that so I'm excited y'all and I'm excited for y'all to see too like this is like my project right now for my brand so yeah Cabri Beauty is my baby so I, I need to nurture her and make sure that she gets the love and attention <laughs> that she needs to grow and flourish. So yeah. But I'm just um, putting mascara on my eyelashes. I love this mascara, literally. It just gets the job done every single time. I feel like if your mouth is not open when you're doing your mascara, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> My eyelashes have actually like grown over the past like couple of months. Um, I, for the first time last year, I got lash extensions and I love them, but I feel like I didn't find the perfect like lash artist for me. Like I feel like every, I don't know, I don't wanna say there was always something wrong cause you know, I feel like my lashes always look good by you know, the lash artist, but I think my I think my eyes are sensitive sometimes to certain glues and like I'm kind of learning that. So I took a break from lashes and also it was getting it was, that's it was getting a little expensive, not gonna lie. Um but it was getting expensive because the retention was not it was not lasting, for real, for real. And I feel like I was getting it done frequently, more frequently than I probably like had to get it done. So I took a break and I let my natural lashes kind of grow out and I feel like they look real good. With the help of Capri Beauty, of course. <laughs> um, I just went in with the e.l.f. Um, Power Grip Primer. Y'all, I love this stuff so freaking much. I feel like it just gives me that perfect base to do my makeup so yeah so i'm actually going to get my lashes done again for the first time like i'm gonna start it back up again i'm gonna get my lashes done tomorrow for vacation and i'm so excited like i loved how i looked with lashes like it took me a long after i got them taken off it took me a long time to kind of get used to like my natural lashes again but i just love the way it looked with extensions and i'm i think i'm ready to get back on it okay but um we're not using a heavy foundation today. I'm going to be using the Lip Bars Just a Tint 3-in-1 um, Tinted Moisturizer or Tinted Skin Condition. Let me read what's on the label. And I got this from Target yesterday. I saw it and I'm like, hmm, let me just try it. And I got the color Honey Dip. So, I don't really know how I want to put this on. 
Let me use the mirror. Okay. Oh, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just going with it. <laughs> Like I said, this is a talk through, and y'all gonna see all the little kinks and bloopers and all of that, so, yeah. The only other tinted moisturizer that I've ever used is the Glossier one, and I love that one. So when I saw that the lip bar had one, I was like, okay, let me check this out, okay? And they're black owned. It doesn't get no better than that. So, I'm just gonna go in with like a foundation brush and like blend it out. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, hold on. Come on, coverage. But it's really light though. Like, almost like, like airbrush. Hmm. I think I put too much on my forehead. It's okay though, we'll make it work. And y'all, the thing about me is that I love doing my makeup and I love makeup and I love the process and everything like that. But for me, for some reason, I can never get it right with like my complexion and like with my skin. And it's weird because on other people, I feel like I do well with like color matching them and making sure the foundation looks good on them. But for me, y'all, and that's so backwards, I know, but I really have to like really work with whatever I'm using to find that perfect shade for me. Whether I have to mix, whether I have to like use more concealer or use more contour to balance everything out. It's just like never a perfect, you know, application. But that looks really good. Okay, first impressions, I like it a lot. Like, I like it a lot. Like, I would wear this out by itself. Cause it still looks super glowy. Like, I love a super glowy skin focused look, okay? So the fact that this is giving me that, and this is perfect for the summer. Like, when you don't wanna add too much makeup, this is perfect. But now I'm just gonna go in with some concealer. I don't know. I think I can go a shade down though. But I'm just gonna go in with my e.l.f. concealer. Um, it's the Hydrating Camo Concealer, the Satin Finish. I've heard mixed reviews about this, but honestly, it, it, does what it needs to do, you know? Okay. So, just gonna do some dots. Like I said, this is a natural look, so I'm not trying to do too, too much. I'm kinda excited for how this about to look. But anyway, but back to what I was saying about like foundation. Um. It's always hard for me to match my skin correctly and it always is when I get to this part right here, the concealer, where it's just like, okay, no, that's not gonna work. Like there have been too many times where I've done my makeup, got all the way to the end and took it off. Cause I'm like, no, it's just not, it's not doing what I needed to do. Uh, I like to keep my concealer close to my eye and like bring it up so it's like a facelift illusion going on. Mm. 
I don't know, but I kind of like when they blend out with my finger for some reason. But I don't want it to get messy. But um, I went to a, I took a makeup class last year, my first makeup class ever. Hold on, I need a brush. Just gonna finish blending it out with a fluffier brush. But I went to my first makeup class ever and we were like, you know, going over the skin and everything like that. And she was saying that I have olive undertones and I've never heard that before. Like that was like news to me, but it makes perfect sense because the foundations that I get, they're either too cool for my complexion or they're either too like orangey or too red for me. I feel, I feel like, I feel like I've never found that like perfect balance and maybe it will be up to me to create a product for all my olive undertone, undertone girls because you are not alone. <laughs> that blended out really nice. Okay. Honestly, I feel like I went, this concealer Clearly a little bit goes a super long way. Cause I only put those three dots and look at the amount of coverage I'm getting. It's a little bit more than I anticipated for this look, but it's okay. We'll make it work. So that was this week for me. I'm trying to think what other exciting things are coming up besides vacation. I'm turning 24. Ah, that's crazy. That's literally crazy. It's kind of scary to me. <laughs> like what? Like I'm about to be in my mid 20s next year. What is, what is that? Me? But it's so crazy because it's like everybody has to go through it. But the fact that I am about to enter into that stage of life is crazy. But I'm excited for my birthday. Um, I'm excited for my birthday trip. This is like my first time going out the country for my birthday. So I'm very excited for that. I feel like I need a vacation. Like, I feel like it's so early in the year, but I'm, I need this vacation, okay? I deserve this vacation. Um, yeah. But I'm just gonna go back in with my, um, what I use for my foundation brush, just to clean up the edges and making sure that there are no harsh lines at all. I'm gonna make sure everything is seamless and blended, okay? Okay, so the concealer is on. Now I'm just going to bronze with my, I'm like looking for it and it was in my hand the whole time. I'm using the um, Fenty Beauty, I think this is a pressed powder. Oh, it's, it's a bronzer. <laughs> it's an instant, instant warmth bronzer in Coco Naughty. And I love this bronzer so much. Actually, I lied. I'm going to set my concealer. And y'all, I'm excited. I know I've been telling y'all that there has going to be like a new Cabri Beauty product. And I'm gonna give y'all a sneak peek. This is one of the products that's gonna be Dropping. I'm not gonna show y'all everything right now, but yeah, it is a powder puff. Ah. This is one of the new products coming out, and I love it already. And I can't wait for y'all to love it too. So I'm just going to set my Concealer, lightly, lightly. 
Yeah. 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 <laughs> Love it. Yeah. It's like giving me like this airbrushed effect. I like it so much. Hurry. It's like what is setting with a brush in here? I feel like this is a like one of those um new essential products that you need in your makeup kit. You need a powder puff. And if you don't have one, don't worry. We'll be dropping one soon. Gonna go with my bronzer, just to add some color and warmth into our face. Let's turn down this lighting. And I'm definitely a blush girl as of last year, like a peachy blush. And this one is from Sephora. Let me see. It's called Peach Blossom. And y'all, this blush is literally my favorite. And I'll just like kind of like, I don't want to add too much because I still want to go for like the super light look, but no, not too much, just enough. And it just adds like an extra layer of warmth to the face. And I like to go over my nose as well. Like, I love putting blush over my nose. For a sun kiss look. Now I'm just gonna go in with my Cabri Beauty Silk Lip Liner in the color Coco. I love her so much. Like, I always use Coco. Either Coco or Chestnut. But most times Coco. And I'm just gonna lightly line my lips. Okay. And I like to just tap it in to blend it. My favorite part, lips. Gonna go in with Cabri Beauty lip gloss in the color mauve and I'm just gonna put it on my finger and pat it into my lips I don't know I kind of like this method lately I feel like I have more control Now I'm just gonna take my Cabri Beauty Gloss in Effortless. This is our best selling lip gloss. It's a clear gloss. And I'm gonna pop that on top. Just for some extra shine. <laughs> Now I'm just gonna set my face with my Urban Decay um, setting spray. This is oil control, all of that. Mmm, I love it. Ooh, we're blurry. <laughs> Y'all, I loved how this turned out. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up, drop me a comment, and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. As I said in the beginning of this video, I will be dropping the details to my 100 subscriber giveaway, so stay tuned for that in the next video. Thank you for watching.